Right. So, hello, people. I'm I'm recording, by the way. Hello. Um, episode two of F Doctor Who Flux. It's what the fuck's it called? War of the Santarans. Or War of the War of the Santarans. Yeah, great episode. Hoorah! Probably, I imagine. Santa ha. Santa ha. ha. Santa ha. Santa ha. I predicted this in the last episode. Isn't that fun? Um, but yeah, <laughs> I actually managed to upload the first episode when I wanted, so I'm proud of myself for that. Uh, I'm not. Fuck you. Um, <laughs> and this second episode, I've heard it's actually not bad, so I'm super curious about it. Okay. Um, so three, two, <laughs> one, play. Your stare, my poor people stare. The best uh, uh, as a designated human. What's the point of living? What's the point of living? I'm well good at this. Do you guys not remember how bad the dialogue was last time? My god. Yeah, this episode improves on it, but it's still got some bad dialogue. Oh, hey. Oh my god. Yo, it's black and white. 13. Oh god, oh god it's Zack Snyder's Doctor Who. <laughs> oh no, Ooh. it's real! Holy shit, that's Ooh. really cool design. <laughs> that's actually pretty cool. I like that the a lot. Theory. The theory that references um, an episode called Limbs something is a lost thing, but no idea what it is. Oh, that was very Legion. I was actually gonna say, oh, it's the time between times, so that was fun. Yes, he's done with you. I'm here. Yo, it's Dan. Oh, the fact she asked about Dan at, like right away, I like that. Great acting, yes. Hmm. Yeah. Mandip gives. <laughs> Oh Jesus! My God, oh, dead. is this what a war? Yeah, this is the Crimean War. I, mm. I hope they explain how they survived. Which meant the Lupari shield uh, worked, but the Tardis took a hit. They, like the it's weird. Like, like you have foundations for it, but there hasn't been a full explanation. Yeah, imagine that explanation will come throughout the season. It seems the Tardis took a hit, and now got thrown out to be protected. I should tell you. I like that. Ah. <laughs> I don't know, that was a funny line. I like that. No, it's SJW and... The no, they made reference to the fact that she's a woman. Whoa. They can never acknowledge that she's a woman. God bless you, John Bishop. You're trying. Yeah. He's really trying. Yeah, that dialogue is classic. He's just Chimler dialogue. He's it's like uh... the doctor points out something and he points out that she said something. <laughs> Hold on. We're in the thing that you just said. Uh, that is indeed what passes for dialogue. It's just it's a, a very much a Chibnall like trope, where a character will explain what's going on and then another character will say, "Hold on. We're in that thing you said." Whoa. They're fighting my boys. Go. The Sontar Horse. Sontar Horse. Ooh, the music here is good. Sontar. Yo! Sontar. 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 That dialogue for the Sontar is pretty much what you get throughout the episode, which I love. Well, that's fine. That's what you'd expect, to be honest. Yeah, Chibnall actually learned how to write Sontarans. I mean, it is exactly his kind of dialogue, right? Because, like, Sontarans, they talk pretty stiff yeah. and uh, monotone. I don't know. Yeah, they're very much, like... What would be the word? Yeah, I guess what you said, Marcus. Yeah. Just, it's not hard know. to write the dialogue for them. I don't know, it's Chris Chibnall. I know. Moffat, and Moffat kind of do it, so... Because he was Stephen Moffat and wanted to add his own flavour. I know. Yo, it's discount Killmonger. Oh, yeah. But who said that was Ez or Gary? Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. And I was like, okay. Doesn't this look like Jacob. the hallway from Offer 55? I, I could see why you think that. Jacob is probably the best actor in this season. I think he stands out here as well. Yeah, there was pretty alright. I would have actually cast him as an actual companion. He would have been cool. The movie. Ooh, that was neat. Yeah. But by the way, yeah. Az takes issue that they're all females because men can't do anything nowadays. But, <laughs> sure, whatever, I don't care. All right. Final, final act, two males doing something. But... Stop spoiling it. Shut up, Dan. Yeah, as a dad, just exists to be exposition questions. 
Yeah, I know. I mean, it's kind of oh, his so companions. Oh. Companions are like, uh, like audience inserts, but, you know, it shouldn't be, uh, uh, audience surrogates, but it shouldn't be just, they are there to deliver, uh, exposition. They should have more than that. No, Dad. Oh, so you're right, Jeff. Whoa, he's been erased from time. Oh, oh you're not. Or something. That seemed like a regeneration, what? but alright. That's what I, I thought. I was a right on my theory. A collision between Flux and Vortex energy. You're falling through space and time. I will find you. Yeah, that's why I think the TARDIS kind of rescued them. I do like that, that the doctor was I like, you. you stay calm, I'm gonna find you. It's like, this, this is textbook. I like this music. Doctor. I like this scene in general, to be honest. Oh, oh, that's uh, oh, that's interesting. I like that. The way that was shot and everything, I like that. Um, I think yeah. though that she would have checked the TARDIS before. Yeah, so that was my thing I said. I don't think it would have changed anything, but yeah, she should have checked it before. Oh, he's back. Oh. We're back in Liverpool. Hey, go to Anfield. Come on. No. Let's watch Barcelona and Liverpool. Please. Oh. Trent is my favorite player. <laughs> thank, thank you, Dan, for saying that. I'm glad we know that now. <laughs> Oh, God. Hey, 13 was uh, <laughs> Trent's ball boy, so you know. Hello, Jim. You, you have to mention Jim. Can you? Do you think it's a product of his accent no, that said. his acting sounds so stiff? Like his That's what, that was really the problem with Ryan, was that the accent was kind of holding him back. Because yeah. it just wasn't that convincing. Yeah, but the thing is, when you have like David Tennant... British isn't even his accent, and he can still deliver it well, so I think... That's the thing, though. David Tennant is, like, one of the best actors to ever live. Yeah. So... <laughs> oh, shit! Yeah. No! Oh, my God, yes! I like this. No. I like this a lot. Got you old Trafford, you cunt! Yes! No. Let's go! <laughs> okay, yeah, they I, missed. I don't know how they missed. How? I what? Don't know. How, 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 how are you not dead? <laughs> how are you not dead? <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! <laughs> He's hardly even dodging! Dude, if that were me, I'd just stop you. Like, dude, how can you not that, fucking hit me? Oh, uh, yeah, they don't explain why his parents were there. Oh, they're they're searching just for him though. He's clearly searching for him, Jeb. Duh. So for me, the idea is the, a ship shows up over Anfield. They would go to their son's house because he lives closer there, and they want to know oh, if he's has, safe. Oh, uh, you'll he find out why, 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 why that doesn't make sense. All right. Huh? Yes. Oh, it's the oh, Liverpool here. boy. Oh, hey, 1820s do you remember Liverpool that guy who was in that scene had nothing to do with the episode at all? Yeah, I do. See, and now what you could have done is have that scene be the opening scene of this episode. And then you have the title sequence, and then you have the episode start. What? Trying to actually have it structured properly? Nah, no. that would be ridiculous. No way. But yeah, these are the tunnels that he's kind of digging mm. towards. He's a good actor. Shame Maddie Gill isn't. Mm. Yeah. She tries, just... she just isn't good. I appreciate how this episode is pacing itself so far, though, because fuck me, after the first episode, we really needed something like this, where it's taking its time. Yeah. Yeah, it does, this episode does take its time. Goodbye. We'll never see you again. Oh, really? Are you kidding? <laughs> I'm going to see him in the next episode. What would... Okay. What would the I guess you do? Yeah. You know, actually, I kind of like that. I actually kind of like that as a nice little thing. That's actually but quite yes, neat. Yeah, I said it was the infantilization of minorities done by white Karens and I'm male sorry. feminist sex offenders. Oh, yes. <laughs> that's it was just nice, a nice detail, because it, 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 in a way it helps her keep faith. Yeah, and it actually also, is pretty in character. It's just I nice, and like it's, it's a character building thing for Yaz that actually is like something I really like. Also, it gives more context of why she's so frustrated with 13. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The way she looks up to her so much. Yeah. What I do like about Chibnall's era, at least, he kind of accounts for sex ever so much. It's just that it's not 
the most well written. Mm. No. They're a clone race. It's what they're bred for. It's their entire history. And they're very, very good at it. Okay, yeah, they I, miss. I, I don't know how they miss. How? I what? Know. And they're very, very good at it. Jay took issue with the really bad plot armor in this episode, which I agree. It's awful. I mean, what we just seen with Dan, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's real bad. Yeah. And they're very, very good at it. Um. Oh my God! Santa. <laughs> that's awesome. I like that. <laughs> you both think that's normal. War is the opposite of normal. That uh, word. F thank you, Chibnall. She said it earlier. I thought the same. I heard it before. Oh, so that was actually well set up. Like a memory. Yes. I mean, yeah. you're still retaining those memories. Time is being rewritten. Then the disruption must be recent. But how? Fallout from the flux? Yeah, but that wouldn't be enough. Exposition time. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking so shit at this, Chibnall. You can't do it. I just miss when Tenet would be like, oh, I'm thick. I'm so thick. Yeah, exactly. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. I miss all that shit. It's so fucking good. Just, just, she does it in the same way every time. The same, like, voice, inflation, and all that. And it's so bad. Because someone took issue with how the general behaves, and I'm like, why? Well, he he's being told that he isn't good enough to lead his men by a woman in this era. Yeah. And he's like, he has, I'm assuming, done this his whole life. Yes. So, oh. him having an issue with the doctor, this random person, just saying, "Hey, you're shit at your job." Yeah, I don't. I'm not surprised he's offended by that. She's a good actress. I don't know who plays her. She's alright. She's alright. Yeah. By Chibnall acting standards, it's up there. Oh my god! Santa, huh? <laughs> At least Dad Stark is fun. Mm. He's, a, he's a good actor. Yeah. There is no such thing as pain. A little. I assert my rights to silence mm. under section Cyan KZ9 sloped back of the Shadow Proclamation. I know what that is! Ah, remember the Shadow oh. Proclamation? Information. The Doctor. <laughs> former President of Gallifrey. You did need to say that bit, but yeah. I don't think Sontaris knows she was a former president. Uh, I can't remember if there was a classic story. There was a classic story where I think the Sontaris were on Gallifrey. I don't know if any uh, any relation to him being president, so I don't know. But yeah, this is clever from 13th. Mm. I was like, wow, this feels like what previous incarnations would do. That's why I think it's the best 13th moment, because it's most in character for the Doctor. <laughs> he would have shot, I think, probably. I don't know, we don't know enough of his character. That's true. Thank you, 13th. I gathered that from the word camouflage. No, you didn't. Yeah. Don't act so smart, Jeb. Jeb looks Where down on the entire we? Doctor Who fandom just because he can't <laughs> understand things without explanations. Most of us can't, Jeb. Oh my god. Right. I do like the Sontaran scene. So many of them. Yes, there are too many of them. What are we going to do? Yes, there are. Again, it's weird how 13 uses her brain yeah. in this episode. That would be nice if you used them often. Yes. If I were writing the dialogue there, though, I'd have her emphasize the stay out of sight thing. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Like, stay out of sight. She's like, I can do that. You're like, stay out of sight. And then she goes, oh, no. Just a small detail, just to show the doctor caring about people. Of immediate execution be upon you. For an admirable shame upon Santa. Santa. Oh. Santa. Oh. Santa. <laughs> I mean, that's fine. So, yeah, I've, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's, it's a nice thing. Uh, I it just get, I just went to get my work. dinner and just saw you got killed. Yeah, yeah they said Santa. Ho. I laughed. Hey. I clapped when they said I that. Mean... Here are the worst two characters in the episode. Oh, Fuck these game. two. Wouldn't they? I don't know. I feel like they would have looked inside the car, but alright. Yeah. So yeah, the Santaras came down. When the Lupari were shielding Earth, so they let everyone get distracted to take over, which is smart. Okay, these guys are not funny. 
who fell in bacon no. they went all around the world but they started here and you know that how i assume that like on social media and that that's where the first sightings were and word kind of got around in the community of liverpool yeah, I imagine mm, something like God. that. Plus, you know, a big fucking sort of light, the car lights on if they want to stay in here. Then... Because, yeah. shut up! <laughs> also, how have they not got noticed on the journey? I have no idea. Jesus, you both are true or so fucking annoying. Jesus. But yeah, as you can tell, they didn't really explain why they were there <laughs> for Dan. <laughs> Hey, that's nice actually. That he wants to go by himself. I like that. I just I just don't agree that they would let him out of what they just said. Oh yeah, me neither, but yeah. Goodbye, Dan's parents will never see you again. Good. Oh, thank God. Why were they in this episode? I recognize the voice from that little thingy. That's what I hey, can't think of when I watched it. For the gun at first. That make that makes sense. Good for you. I know. Serving Commander Instant V Vendor of Castor Wing for the Foxfell at uh, your service. Oh, well, if we're going formal, Serving Officer Khan, Hallamshire Police, Earth Division, at yours. See, this is so much better than the way she introduced herself to Dan in episode you one. Yeah, it's like it was that really weird, like, speech you yeah, gave. Like, oh, I'm a police officer, Vinder. whatever. Yeah, you're sure, whatever. Wait, this well, looks like the Gallifrey thingy at the smaller? end of Timeless Children. It looks very similar. Yeah. That's that's what I had in mind. We are the Guardian priests. We maintain the temple of Atropos on the planet of time. All time passes through the Mori. Must mm. pass through the Mori. Yeah, so they're on this planet called Time. I don't think this is connected to Time Laws because they harness time and need it controlled. So they must know about the Mori. So it's like there's no way this was a Time Lord for later. I just can't take Dad seriously with a giant walk. If you have any words, now is the moment. Their acting is great. They should be terrified. Yeah, they should be crying and begging for their lives. Yeah. Well, they're not screaming right now. Well, they look like they're like, eh, I guess this is what we're doing. Eh? Mild concern. <laughs> not even mild. It's like, well. We exist here. Yeah, we're, we're our bodies. Ha. Sata ha. Sata ha. Sata ha. Sata ha. Dad's reaction's good at least to it all. I'm quite glad they actually don't hold back on Sotarans. As um, extreme militants. That is... I like the way this is shot. Hey, it's from the trailer. I like yes. the way that was shot. Oh, I also like this shot. Okay. I like the aesthetic for the episode being Let's be popular. having ya! Ooh, I love this shot. The in the ground of its feeble soil. We now assert that claim. Earth shall be an Nice classic Who reference. Yeah, I'm assuming that's... Yeah, classic Who. Yeah, that's... So that's reference to the first ever Sontar and that landed yeah, on Earth. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. In the Time Warrior. I wanted to ride a horse. Leave this planet now, and you That wasn't... Okay. Alright, Chip, no. I don't really have a problem with it. Alright. I speak on behalf of all of humanity! Oh, no, Doctor. No. You do not. I accept your offer of a massive... Also, I can understand why Chip, no chose this design, given the aesthetics. Mm. Rather yeah, than the season that. 4. I get that. It's, mm, I just... I prefer it. Caesar 4 design, at least in this aesthetic, would um, kind of clash. I like how we were like pretty silent during that, it's just like silent investment. Yeah, because I'm just laying it play. <laughs> yeah, it was a good scene. That style. Yeah. Basing it was pretty good. Ooh, that green screen doesn't look good, do Yeah, I just noticed yeah. that as soon as it came on. It's as devastating as you're imagining. We're like halfway through, and we compared to episode sorry. 1. Oh, it's way better than episode 1. What? We actually have consistency and a structure. Episode one would be in our twentieth location. Yeah. Oh, that's why. <laughs> when, when Dad has done more vlogging than Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> then, if you talk now, I'm gonna be very upset. 
Well, to be fair, there's a lot of noise to drown him out, but still. But he's not talking, mm, not which is now. good. Yeah. yeah. I don't buy that entire area being, like, open to no view. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised there's just not more around. I, I'm not, but you'll understand why. But I don't like how there's not a Sontaran guarding this specific crane. You'd probably just have a Sontaran on each crane, wouldn't you? Yeah, because this one leads directly to that ship, as you could see. Well, a lot of them do, actually, by the looks of it. So, yeah, you would want a guard. Oh, no. Oh, my God, it's Pimp. It's, it's my boy swarming. There's a... Yeah, f fuck knows where Passenger came from. <laughs> Wait, well, yeah, who the fuck is this guy? They just they just turned up and they're here now. I really hate her design. It just looks ridiculous, her design. Okay. I mean, that connects a lot better to the episode yeah, than nice the choice. episode ones. Thingy, so. Yeah. It's weird how Barry Seacole is used as well. Like, Chibnall likes to educate people. And she's more of a... Actually used in the narrative than as an educational device. Yeah. It's not like how Chibnall used Ada Lovelace. Yeah. Because she literally was such a nothing character in Spyfall where this, like, this person is actually being very useful towards the plot. And it's weird he hasn't massacred the Sontarans. Um, that is not secure. <laughs> well, that's what it was like in Series 4. Yeah. I remember the Donna bit with Donna, like, when then she's like, I haven't got three oh, fingers yeah. or whatever. And... Sure, I don't know. Huh. That's lucky. Uh, see, see, this is where I'd argue it wouldn't be, because it, the positioning's right in the middle and the closest spot for a Sontaran, so it makes sense that's the communication relay. Sure. I would have liked Dan to press a few buttons first, probably. Yeah. Well, that's not like the first thing he pressed. Oh, yeah. That makes more sense. Is that really Seacole? I don't understand any of this. We have to get the Sontarans out of the quiet. I don't think Jody has good direction either. Jody's so underutilized at this show. Yeah. Yes. I really hope the next doctor has some good direction. I'm a little bit lost up. I was just looking for the pair, Ed. This is new pair. <laughs> <laughs> like, th there he is. Um, sure. I'm okay with that. I just, I just loved, like... <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I like I just that. like how John fine. Bishop says that. Uh... <laughs> 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 that's actually the best oh, joke like Chip was probably ever done. <laughs> Such linear creature. I want more Dan. I'm just at the beer head. <laughs> I like that line. By the Such way. Such linear creature. That was interesting. How could you know that? See, that's a good delivery, Manda. Nice thing about Vinter established. Vinter's been good so far. Yes. Oh, well, they can just dodge things instantly. Okay. They've got a lot of power. Yeah, just stop for a lot of Oh, he is Swarm. Okay. They're also... They've been revealed now by the Dot2 YouTube channel, Dare the Ravagers. Ah, okay. So my theory was right all along. People think that Quantum Locked is, um... Going to be tied to the Weeping Angels of some kind, which mm. I think is a bit of a reach. That's a weird lie from Yaz, to be yeah. honest. Give yeah. her what no idea why she <laughs> yeah. said that, but I like the dialogue from Swarm there. Yeah, and the performance is pretty great. Yeah, yeah, like acting is really solid. I don't think so. Oh no, oh no, not you. Holy shit, they miss. Well, um, really. How are you missing? He's not um, even moving. He's standing hmm. so still. And they're very, very good at it. Okay. And he killed a worm. Okay. Idiot. 
The plot armor is like pretty fucking abysmal. Yeah, this episode the plot armor is yeah. insane. I like how Az accuses 30 of racism for treating the general poorly. Remember, 30's white, by the way. Yeah, I'm confused right now. Resting and refueling like cars refilling their petrol tanks. Oh, no, no, wait, wait. <laughs> like horses replenishing their nose bags. Right. <laughs> so. Sure. Oh, no, okay, with that. I like that. Did you just say 21st century? She's talking. <laughs> if there, we will have exactly 7.5 minutes to drain their supplies. So, what people take issue with is that every single one are doing it, but. If you think about the clock cycles and how they have to land in a specific point in time, it makes sense they're all at the same time. Yes. Because they had a really brief window. Pe people think, oh, they, sh they could do their cycles at different times, but they, they didn't have enough time to land to do so. <laughs> that was okay. Crazy. Did it really just not? <laughs> Did he just not hear any of that? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think it would matter, like, I think the, the Cavernista would have been able to kill him, but, you know. Sure, but the fact that he just didn't do anything before, and it's no, like, yeah, okay. Dumb, yeah. Very strange. And that's why they're on the same cycle. And this is why the Cavernista is involved, but not the other Lupari. And this is why he found Dan, but people seem to take issue with us. It's like, I do appreciate this episode does try to explain things. Yeah. Yeah, it seems pretty consistent with explaining stuff. Blood Armor is the worst offender. Yeah, that's what I've got. Yeah, but And Dan's parents. Yeah, they're cringe and bad. We shall make a strategic withdrawal. Hmm. People take issues. People take issues that the Sotage shoots a retreat. Uh, retreat. It's a strategic retreat. Well, it's also like, how are they going to fight if the gases are toxic and they're all weakened? You need to regroup and rethink their strategy. Plot armor. Oh, come on, oh, no, for fuck's sake. <laughs> this is insane, dude, this plot armor. What just happened here was a fucking miracle. Chill, Jules, this shit happens. Wrong, wrong. This shit doesn't just happen. <laughs> Oh, that doesn't look great. Yeah. Yeah, that looks weird. Wonky. That looked goofy as fuck. Well, that was a weird zoom. <laughs> that... I'm surprised Stan's fine from landing in the water. That looked really high. Yeah. Yeah. They're okay. leaving, and with no further bloodshed. I must disabuse you of that. No. Oh, no. What have you done? Oh, he's gonna kill him anymore. Shit, that makes sense. That's tragic. And people go, how did he smuggle that up there? And I'm like, have you seen how big this site is? All, all he's got to do is approach it from the other end and the 13th is going to see it. Yeah. Sometimes men like you make me wonder why I bother with humanity. SJW. That was a good line. I like that. I, what I don't like, because I can understand the approach, is she specifies men rather than people. Oh, but it doesn't. I don't. I'm not. I don't think it's specifying. It's just a way of speaking. Still on our door. Hey, the doors closed up what again. Is this the season is really leaning hard into the TARDIS being like a sentient yeah. being. Yeah. Temporal implosion. You're welcome. I like that. They're acting there, sort of. Pretty easy, really. I worked it all out by myself. <laughs> Until Scooby Doo here. <laughs> you wanna come? Okay. I'm not doing that was a bit flat. I would have liked still something. Yeah. Well, that should not be going out the floor. Oh, it's still leaking. Getting way worse. Not the TARDIS. Oh, God. This is rough. Oh, no. Oh. I hate the color grading inside the charts. What is this cliffhanger gonna be? It's gonna be hilarious. <laughs> oh, I can't of wait. Because of the next time trailer. <laughs> Hello, Doctor. She looks like a blue penis. <laughs> I re Her design is like. I don't like it. I like the other guy's design a bit better. And also, he's actually the better actor. Like, quite clearly. 
Oh, fuck. Oh, damn. Damn, okay. That's super interesting. A villain that's choosing to make the doctor suffer. Poor placeholders. Hardly equipped to be more, are they? His acting is really good. The full force of time will blast through them. Jesus. How many seconds will their bodies be able to take before they die, Doctor? Okay. That was really interesting. Huh. Um, and then the next hard trailer cards are shit. <laughs> oh, well, we'll see you in a sec. Yeah. But that was fine. I enjoyed that episode. Yo, there's Finder and Yaz. Um, thank you. Ah, oh, Cybermen. And a yeah, thank you for lady. spoiling that ending. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> That's pretty cringe. But so that, this oh, episode how... on its own is pretty alright. So how does Jazz survive? Oh, that's gonna be so fun to explore. We'll see. It's going We're gonna have an explanation at some point about it. I'm sure it's gonna be great. I'm definitely not worried. Nah. Uh. Yeah. Nothing like episode one. W w way better than episode way, one. Yeah. Way better. Yeah. Yeah. Not even close. Yeah. Just pacing wise, it didn't want make me want to kill myself. And the um like the characters they actually had a quite a bit of like characterization that I really enjoyed. Um I Yaz guess had Yaz a, a solid is, thing that I liked. Yeah, I'd say Yaz is probably like yeah. the flattest of all the characters so far. Well there wasn't much time spent on her, but I did yeah. like the little thing she had on her on her palm of the hand. Yeah. You know, it's a nice little bit of characterization that isn't forced. Indeed. I I like that. Um the Doctor actually is probably my favorite character in the episode, surprisingly. Uh who'd be mine? That's a tough one. Probably the Sotara commander, I'm not gonna lie. That's fair to be honest. Yeah. The Sotara I think the Sotara was probably my I probably like the Sotara the most of this episode bar their really shitty aim. Yeah, that's the only issue, really. Yeah, the the plot armor is fucking insane. But other than that, pretty... Dan's mum and dad just didn't need to be in this episode at all. Yeah, I think they kind of made the episode I don't know worse. why they were... Yeah. If they're, if they're only there so because they're in the future episodes, then it's like, ugh, I don't want more of them because already they're pretty shit. Yeah, like, they're, they're not Wilf, I'm sorry. No, how much you no, try them? Well, no, no, I'm not, not even close. Yeah, well, for uh, Donna's mother. They're not even like Jackie. They're not Jackie, like. Yeah. Or Martha's parents. Yeah, Martha's family is great. Yeah. Oh yeah, they're great. Uh, yeah, that was that was that. Uh, I give it like a six. Yeah, let's see. Six out of ten is. I probably didn't great. enjoy it as much as I think most people were saying. Because I think the plot really fucking bummed me out, just of how fucking shit it was. But I enjoyed a lot of the character stuff. Yeah. For the most part. Yeah. And probably, probably like a low six for me. That's... Yeah, I mean, I have it at six. I'm at yeah, a six. sounds pretty reasonable to me. Yeah. yeah. Sounds reasonable. Yeah. Okay. So, hey, we don't hate everything. Don't hate yeah. it. I, I don't think I like the episode overall, but I don't think it's bad. I think it's pretty okay. Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, this opinion can change depending on what Jay's. I'm willing uh, to hear arguments, though. Uh, like, I, I'm not invested to massively defend it if the arguments are solid against it. The arguments I've come across have been. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually have to read those and see how good they are, and I doubt they will be any good. Like a lot of the arguments said, I've covered in this reaction, and what can't I had? So, yeah, I yeah. Yeah, if I I don't if it was going to be good episodes in these six episodes, it wouldn't surprise me. Most of them are the early ones. It's when we get to the late ones is where I'm kind of very worried. Oh, I'm and already we now have a cliffhanger. I'm certain yeah. the resolution for the plot in the the for uh, the end of Flux is gonna be really shit. Um, but so far setups aren't like terrible. So on average, it's around like a three or four right now overall. Um, 
No, if you just want to do average, then it'd be a four, right? If it's a six and a two, so. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I know. Um, just the fact that this episode is like a six it means it's like the best Chip Noera episode. So that's pretty impressive. Is this or haunting? I would say this is better, but I like haunting more. But I would need I'd to have rewatch to re Village of Dust to be sure. But it's yeah, I haven't like, watched I, it. I don't want to rewatch no. anything in series twelve. So. No, you shouldn't. Yeah. <laughs> this is top three at least. I would yeah. probably say maybe yeah. if I was to go off uh, memory, I think haunting is slightly better. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, from memory, I'd say this is better, but uh, I like haunting more. That episode was like I did not. Yeah, I, I definitely prefer that. Yeah. Um. Anyway, yeah, I'm glad we somewhat enjoyed or just outright enjoyed this episode. I'm surprised. Did not expect that. Um. Told you. I'm surprised it wasn't a uh, dog shit. No, yeah. I'll say that for me. Yeah. This is like you know. I went into Eternals thinking it was going to be shit, and it was good. And this episode is like, hey, it's Chib, no, it's going to be shit, and it, it's decent. And also, you know, you got to um, balance your expectations, because this was never going to be as good as Eternals, so, yeah, because it's Chib, no. But yeah, that was, that was fun. Uh, I'm not, like, going to hate editing through this uh, Ecom again, so that's nice. Uh, hopefully, it's going to be out on Sundays. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to have it out, like, every, every Sunday until the series is over. Uh, just to keep it like consistent. Uh, that should be yeah. interesting. So yeah. Episode three, I'm dreading. It sounds like a d disaster in the making. Oh boy, that'd be funny. Oh, right. Mm. It's as far as we know, it's set on the planet of time, which we just saw. Falls around Temple Archipos, but it's like how Yaz of Indo escape. Uh, but it seems to be going really in with the law now. Um, which Chivnal kinds of falters at. So, yay. Yeah, well, um, thanks everyone for watching. Sorry, I, I was replying to South Park. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching. Um, hope you enjoyed watching us watch this episode. Um, I would actually recommend you watch the episode itself as opposed to just watching our reaction because I actually think the episode kind of deserves it. Um, yes. But, uh, yeah. yeah. Any parting mm -hmm. thoughts? Santa. Uh, huh. Sontaha. Yeah. I Sontaha. agree. <laughs> I got my one wish for this season. Good Sontarans. Yeah, they're better than uh, Moffat, yeah. so that's already a win. Um, that's all you wanted. You've been saying that for like months now that you want, just wanted them to be better than um, <laughs> Moffat, so hey, at least you got that. Uh, yeah, thanks yeah. everyone for watching. We'll, we'll catch you next week. Uh, yeah, goodbye. Goodbye, Bye. boys. Uh,